I guess there's a reason why people say that four o'clock is the time where inspiration hits or when God talks to you. This is Sandy Mackey and it's time for a little heavy breathing at 4.14 a.m. So here we are another day where um, life is so full of surprises. It is about 4 o'clock in the morning, and I've not been a 4 o'clock in the morning kind of person, but when something wakes you up, and I mean that both literally and figuratively, sometimes it makes sense just to pay attention. Some of you may have listened to a post that I did yesterday where um, life just got a little bit real in my podcasts, and I shared more authentically and really than I have shared before. Pushing that publish button felt really good and it felt just a bit vulnerable all at the same time. And I separated myself from those feelings and I just let it be. I let myself sit with that feeling of not being quite sure what was going to happen. Turns out it feels just great. I did eventually listen to the entire recording that I had done and it struck me at how listening to my story felt really, really good. And listening to the way that I told it felt really, really good. And this feeling is coming from the girl who's not listened to herself much in the um, business materials that we've put together. I've been uncomfortable listening to my own voice or seeing what I was creating for the world to see. And somehow all that is changing and I am so appreciative of that. I'm also appreciative of the comments that I got back from a couple people um, that had listened to a couple of my most recent recordings and shared a little bit of what it meant to them. Let me remind everyone, again, who is listening, that's why it is so important for you to tell your story and why I feel that it's important for me to tell my story. Because when we share how we think and what we feel with others and they can see themselves in parts of our story, then the world is a better place because they feel empowered and we feel empowered at the same time. So I was using um, Facebook, which I think I'm going to rename Facebook as a portal to my social universe, something to that effect, where you can see the kind of inner workings of how people think based on what they post, and interesting and unique and creative content. So there's a message from Sandy, uh, another Sandy, that I follow on a blog that she writes. And she shared that sociologists tell us that even the most introverted individual will influence 10 thousand other people during his or her lifetime. That would mean that we are each influencing as well as being influenced by others. That means that all of us are leading in some areas, while in other areas we are being led. No one is excluded from being a leader or a follower, and realizing your potential as a leader is your responsibility. In any given situation with any given group, there will be a prominent influence the prominent leader can easily be discovered. Just observe as observe the people as they gather. If an issue is to be decided, who is the person whose opinion is most valuable? Who is the one that others watch when issues are being discussed? And who is the person with whom people quickly agree? More importantly, who is the one that the others follow? When you can watch and answer these questions, you can determine who the real leader is. And if you look around and you can't quite tell, look at yourself because it just may be you. We don't realize, a lot of us who are in positions that other people would perceive as leadership positions, we don't realize often where that is and how others look up to us. So please take a minute and observe in situations in your life how does that work? I saw another video today that I would like to mention and I really implore you to take a minute and watch it. 
Um, it's by Simon Sinek, and Simon Sinek says start with why. He helps put into words this philosophy of discovering your why and knowing why you're helping others. And Simon's why is to serve people who serve others. That's a pretty compelling why, and I understand it. Putting a why into words can be relatively difficult for some. Maybe it's easy for others. I think when it gets down to it, when you really know your why, words become unnecessary. The video that he shared that I watched was about a profound experience that happened in his life just a few months ago. Watching and understanding and hearing what he was sharing in his message was so powerful. And it resonated with me because in parts of his story I could see me and in parts of his story I could see him. And in parts of his story, I could see a lot of other people that are a part of my story. So please, if you get a chance to watch it, I'll be sharing the video link here as well. It is worth your time. I posted it on Facebook earlier today and a friend of mine, Tom Harris, said, what would happen if everybody just watched this video once a day? My response to him is, the world would probably start vibrating at a higher frequency and some profound shifts would happen. So 4 o'clock is the time where I think inspiration hits, sometimes. I think 4 o'clock in the afternoon can also be when inspiration hits. Whenever the time sees the moment. There is something else that I saw today that said it's not it's never too late for a happily ever after. And I don't know that happily ever after is the way that I would put it into words, but sometimes where words aren't sufficient or adequate, we have to go to the words that'll get the point across in enough of a way that we can share it with others. Wherever you find yourself today, just like exactly where I am, it's the perfect place to be. And it is the perfect place to look at what motivates, what inspires, what gets you excited to wake up in the morning, and what choices you'd like to make in your life each and every day. Think about your why just a little bit. And if you don't know what it is, if it's not clear to you, don't worry about it. There is no rush. There is no race to a destination. I know when I was asking myself the question, why, why, what's the purpose? How will I know when the purpose gets here? I knew that there was something that I wasn't quite seeing and I didn't quite understand. And about the time I gave up and surrendered to trying to figure out what that was is the point where it became clear. So think about all that and know that you are appreciated and realizing your potential as a leader it's not only a responsibility, it's a privilege, and it's a really, really amazing place to be. So know that you are, in your own way, changing the world for the better, simply by your presence and by what you do each and every day and being a part of it.